Hey everyone, Zev here. Welcome to Escape Simulator Overview. You can't really get any more generic with naming your game like that. It makes sense because the game is exactly that, but in terms of the search engines on the internet, there is no way you easily find it, so that's just like a little tip for the developers. So Escape Simulator is an escape room puzzle game where through discovering a highly interactive environment, you need to find out secret clues to unlock certain mechanisms and leave this godforsaken place in peace. I'm not necessarily a connoisseur of this genre, however, what I've seen and experienced through this escape room genre lens is pretty impressive in comparison to all the other ones that released on the store. This one sets itself apart because it uses a rather decent physics engine that really makes a difference on the immersion side of things. Meanwhile, the puzzles presented and the resolutions really make sense and on the first glance it's not so easy to figure out what's happening. There isn't necessarily a common pattern either cause you're switching the environment between very different themes from each other that have their own set of rules. It has specific art style, maybe a bit cartoony, but at least it is polished. There isn't really anything to nitpick, maybe interactions are not necessarily physical because you grab things from a distance, but it helps with the gameplay and it's not like you need to go into every single corner and pick up stuff yourself. If I would be into this kind of stuff, I would be definitely going for this game, primarily because it's a very good representation of the genre, it has a variety of things going on, and it doesn't seem repetitive, which I think could be the biggest sin in this kind of gameplay. Let's go figure something out. Oh my god. <laughs> Neither. Wow, whatever. There seem to be physics going on. Pretty decent ones, like... Very realistic. Really? And where's my inventory? It's interesting that there's directional grab. Like physically it doesn't really work. This is pretty cute and professional at the same time. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> oh 
What the hell? What's going on? Well, I guess I need to escape from here. That's the theme of the game. I think I have seven. Ah, that's clues. I didn't pay attention really, so I already forgot. I think I'm essentially searching for the puzzle pieces. But it's very cool, like the engine they used. There are coats everywhere. What the? Okay, fine. <laughs> it's the same code. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be the same. Numbers from the police to the hospital. Well, there are four. Oh, actually, okay. Who left? Why well, do I need a code for it? The game also said that I can crouch and stuff. Oh. There are also cubes, but... Do I need to build something? <laughs> That's not the call. Oh my god! <laughs> Can we stop?
Yeah, I would not find it out. Well, that's cool that there's an option like that. Get me out of here! It's time to tutorial. So it seems like there are a variety of stages made by the community, developers, or DLCs. It seems a lot. I suppose I'll just randomize one to see. And it's interesting, some are unlocking in a couple days. Okay. Egypt, my territory. Well, before, I'm not living there anymore. Oh, there's a timer. Well, I guess for the score. Those places are rather small. It could very well be a mixed reality experience. <laughs> Interestingly, I can't pick this up. Oh. Oh, wow. Now I need to know some history. That's so interesting, though. I know some alphabet. But at this point, I forgot everything. Like, every piece is important here. <laughs> Will I find another one? Eh? I don't need tokens. Trial and error gameplay. There we go. Oh, what the? I need a small piece. Where is it? That is no help. How can I switch pages?
Makes sense. That is not what I was looking for, however... Really? This is an amber. It's time for me to go anyways. This has a pretty good potential as an escape room genre. Like you have a full-on physics engine going on. Tips are presented if you get stuck. And solutions make sense if you have more brain power than I do. I don't necessarily have any complaints. Like the art style is in a certain ambience with textures pretty decent. An overall atmosphere of puzzle mechanics is pretty much kept. Is it something for me? Not necessarily, because in terms of escape rooms, I feel like I prefer more the I expect you to the experience. This one, however, is perfectly representing its own niche. And I'm over those tokens. 